Okay, so we have a fully functional um, project now. Um, I wanted to talk just a little bit about sort of making this yours. Um, now you may not be that into level design or any of that stuff, but there's a lot of things we could do in here to make this just a little more interesting, like maybe even deleting this third person thing or whatever this is. That just feels a little more realistic. Um, we can also um, start doing things like, you know, moving our, you know, making our terrain longer if we wanted to. You know, so we could do a lot of different things to make um, our game maybe a little more, or at least our level a little bit more interesting and a little bit more options for our characters to, uh, our character to run around in it. Um, so over here. Sort of scale that out, right? And just by doing all of this, I can give myself a little bit more room to play, um, create a couple of new things in here, right? Um, make sure that floor is moved over a little bit. There we go. And so now I have a little bit more room to run around in here and show off what my character can do, right? Um, now when I do that, when I make these changes, you'll see an error up here in the top. Lighting needs to be rebuilt. So there's a lot of things that have to be calculated um, before we can um, sort of create the final version of the game. And lighting is one of them. That's going to generate stuff like these shadows on the ground. Um, and so since I made some changes to the model, you know, there's some, there's some things there that could be rebuilt. Um, I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Um, there's also this box that is over top of this character, or over top of this. This is sort of the area where lighting is being calculated. Um, and so we can kind of scoot this over, scale it out, make sure it sort of encompasses our whole area. Right? And we can also start thinking about materials, right? So this this floor is a little boring, really, just to look at. Actually, a lot of this stuff is boring. So um, so some of these materials are are that we just have in here. We can just drag and drop. So that's under starter content. So if you if you have all of this minimized. Um, you'll see the starter content. There's a bunch of stuff in here that you can use. Um, there is a uh, also some props. So like if you wanted to put a chair in there for your character to punch and stuff like that. Um, but under these materials, let's, let's double click on some and see. So like this brick, um, is this a good example? Some of them have this texture coordinate option and we can repeat that say 10 and 10 and we can get this repeating brick pattern um, and then drop that uh, yes I'll save that and then I can drop that brick onto my floor and I have this brick pattern now I'm, actually I may want to make that more like since I elongated that I may want to make the the V maybe make that like 20 or something let's see if that if that fixed it <laughs> Turns out it was the other one I needed to change. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that by 10, put this more like 15. Save. There we go. So we can, we can keep playing around with it. And so now our character can run around on this on this brick pattern. Which is, I'm just I'm just playing now, just to give our world um, it's the wrong one, isn't it? That's not give our world a little bit something more interesting to look at. So actually, let's do this more like thirty and fifteen. No, thirty and twenty. Let's do thirty and twenty. And so now that pattern is going to be a little smaller, and we can you know we have a, a little bit more of something interesting for our character to run around on. Um, so this is something if you want to play around with with some materials you can do some some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, there's a lot of very simple materials in here. There's a lot of very uh, interesting materials in here that we can you know, also see if there's a way to repeat them. So this is the bump offset and the color offset. So you may have to play around with more than one UV node to uh, and make that work. 20 and 20. And there we 
go. Um, save. And we'll see that, you know, that's going to give us a pretty neat little, like, pattern for our character to run around on. So I'm just saying this because there's a lot of things that we can we can adjust just to make this present a little bit better um, when, we, when we start playing the game, right? Um, you got a lot of stuff, wood, all sorts of stuff. You can also even drag new objects in here. Um, you'll see um, under geometry we can drag, like, a set of steps in here, and you know, they all kind of have that same thing going on and a very neat option that we have is if you already have something that you like and you want more versions of it if we hold down hit W and hold down alt we can actually drag duplicates of that object around and so now we can have as many of these things that we punch in here as, as we want and we can have them sort of scattered all over and sort of set up a little course for our character to run around and we can you know see you know, him react to these things. Um, so, so however it is we want to um, show our characters um, interaction with this world is it's kind of up to us now, right? Um, once we get that done, one of the last things, one of the last few things we need to do before we can actually make a playable version of this for ourselves is hit this build button. And that's going to fix all of that, those lighting and uh, other issues. And this will take just a few seconds. We'll see that we'll get a little warning. Um, which map is it? Third person example map. Oh, it fixed that. Okay, so the build is finished. And that means the lighting and everything should be final. So before I do anything, or before I finish this up, I'm going to hit save all. And what we want to do now is package this into a playable game. So I'm going to hit File, Package Project, Windows, and I'm going to use Windows 64. Um, there's some build configurations in here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and this, this will be good enough right now. So Windows 64, and it's going to ask me where I want to put it. I, I usually make a new folder, and we'll call this um, Character Animation Build. Okay. I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to start this packaging process. Now this is going to take a little while, um, but what it's doing is it's if we show the output log, you'll see that it's taking all of these assets that we have in here, and it's scrunching them down and sort of putting them in a, um, uh, an, a, a game format, right? So, you know, if you are playing... Um, Fallout 4 or something like that. Um, it's packaging it in a way that it will play uh, smoothly, but also um, it's sort of converting some of the files to um, to formats to where you can't just rip those out very easily and just make your own game with, with Fallout 4 characters and stuff like that. So once it gets done, what we should have in that folder we just created, character animation build, is this Windows No Editor. And that's okay and we're gonna choose my project and so if I double click on that it's gonna launch my game we're ready to go and so all of those changes I made are in here and I just have this playable version of my character running around now we did this primarily to be able to show our animations off in in game and so what I would do for this is this is this looks pretty nice um, I would then capture this using the same software I'm actually using right now to make this video. So um, escape doesn't work for this. We have to hit the Windows key to kind of get out of that. And so we could full screen this, right? And um, the software that I am using to capture right now is OBS Studio. So it's a free software. Um, it's open broadcast software. Um, and what it does, I'll actually show you the capture window right now, is it just allows you to capture whatever is on certain screens. Uh, there's a studio mode where you can switch back and forth between multiple screens. But it does a pretty good job at capturing at real time. Like this is 30 frames per second right now. Well, that's what my animation is. So um, so I could set this up to where, um, sorry. 
that I'm capturing my <laughs> that's funny um, capturing my animation at um, 30 frames per second and um, and pretty much getting a full screen version of oh, there we go getting a full screen version of my character running around in game right and so this is going to um, be a way that we can show like that not only do we do these animations but they look good in game and they are fully functional um, now again <laughs> We don't always want to show that that's happening, right? When we're capturing this for like a demo reel or something like that, but showing that our character is capable of you know, walking up and punching something is really going to, you know, hopefully, you know, show your animations um, in a more impressive light. So I'm just going to run around for a while now and punch stuff. So. I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And good luck. Where is that at?